new Supra may be more powerful than its predecessor, but we doubt it can match the iconic feel of the MKIV. Even though they both had six-cylinder engines, the fourth-generation Supra was considered the holy grail of Japanese sports cars thanks to its bulletproof 2JZ GTE engine. The MKIV's success can be attributed to the car's power, aerodynamic body, and the durability of its over-engineered turbocharged engine. While it makes 326 hep in stock form, the engine's tuning potential could easily push it into the four digits. Many enthusiasts love the Mazda Miata for its excellent handling, affordability, everyday drivability, and reliability. However, the 181 four-cylinder engine is capable of pushing this car from rest to 60 miles per hour in just 5.7 seconds. One of the keys to the Miata's reliability and fun to drive is the car's mantra of keeping things light and simple. But no matter how many miles the car has, Getting behind the wheel of a Miata is sure to put a smile on your face. While the first generation Skyline was a solid effort, it was the R32 that really put the Skyline family on the map as one of the best sports cars in the world. All Skylines have one thing in common, high quality and very powerful mechanisms. The R32 is the first Skyline to use the legendary rb 26 dt along with Nissan's innovative ATTSSA all-wheel drive system. The Fair Lady Z took the automotive world by storm when it was introduced in 1969. The car was an instant hit with its incredible driving attributes and unique design. By the time S30 production ceased, more than 520,000 units had been sold in nine years. The powerful 2.4-liter inline-six engine produced 151 app, which was quite impressive for the 70s. The car's solid mechanicals and rigid unibody were major contributors to its racing success. The WRX STI series has a reputation for reliability, but the 22B is considered the pinnacle of Subaru as it is an unrivaled rally legend to fans around the world. With a reliable 276 hep turbocharged EJ22 G engine and all-wheel drive system, it was a limited production model, 400 units for the GDM market, 16 for the UK market, and five for the Australian market. Reportedly, the car sold out within 48 hours, making it the most desired Impreza at the moment. LFA is arguably Toyota's best supercar to date. When it debuted in 2010, it was a car so advanced that it can still match modern supercars in terms of performance and technology. The car is powered by the Nürburgring version's 553 P 4.8-liter 1 ORGUE V10 engine producing 10 more horses than the standard LFA. The Nissan Silvia does not need to be unveiled for all drifting fans. However, many would be forgiven for not knowing the first Silvia was introduced in 1964 with a 1.6-liter 96 AP engine.
But it was the S13 that took the world by storm, winning Japan's Car of the Year award when it debuted in 1988. We can all agree that the AE86 is arguably the greatest Corolla and the godfather of drifting. While it doesn't have the most powerful power plant in the range, the 1.6-liter 128 hip engine is none other than the iconic 4 AGG inline 4, perfect for a light and compact sports scoop. The Acura NSX was truly stunning when it was introduced, a capable and reliable supercar that can be used as a daily driver. Set to rival other European sports cars, the Acura NSX gave cars like the Ferrari 328 a run for their money. The NSX truly broke new ground, being the first mass-produced aluminum supercar, powered by a 290 3.0-liter V6 engine the NSX offers Ferrari-like performance at a fraction of the price. The high-performance Celica was produced from 1986 to 1999, featuring full-time all-wheel drive and one of Toyota's most iconic engines, the 2.0-liter turbocharged 3S GTE engine. It can travel hundreds of miles under regular maintenance and offers a bulletproof drivetrain capable of withstanding more than 600 F of tuning. <music> 